many beers are served in glass bottles, and that has unexpected negative consequences. At least, that's what the British government is referring to. Because more than 5,000 people a year are victims of assaults with jugs and bottles the majority of beer and surgical reconstruction operations bring to the public health of this country more than £2,000 million. But the good thing is what we insist on serving the beer in glass bottles partly, by inertia, by culture and by liturgy. But it also seems to influence taste, as Mark Myadonic explains in his book Things and Materials. In bars and pubs it has been tried to replace the glass with a multitude of plastics, but despite their hardness and transparency, these materials have never been accepted among customers. In addition to knowing differently, that material has less thermal conductivity, so one feels it warmer than glass, reducing the pleasure of having a cold beer, so given the resistance of people to drink beer in plastic containers or tin, a possible solution would be to make safer glass, such as tempered glass, a glass originally conceived by the automotive industry to make people suffer fewer glass wounds in an accident. The material has its origin in the famous drops of Prince Rupert, a curiosity invented in the 1640s. These are pieces of teardrop-shaped glass that resist the pressure well in the rounded part, but explode little that is damaged the elongated part. They are very easy to do, simply pour a piece of molten glass into water. The extreme and rapid cooling of the exterior of the drop puts the surface layers of the glass in a state of mechanical compression, all the particles are very tight and it is almost impossible for cracks to form, because the compressive force will always compensate for the tensile force. The surface of the glass thus hardens to such an extent that the drop, incredibly, resists to a hammering.